Hey there, amazing designers. I just wanted to take a moment to express my heartfelt thanks for being a part of our Design Extreme family. Can you believe we are a thriving community of over 30,000 plus people, all exploring the fascinating world of UI UX design together? It's truly humbling to even think that I might have played a small role in your learning journey. Seeing Design Extreme grow into such a big community is just incredible to me. Now, I've got a couple of exciting news to share with you all today. First up, based on your feedback from our recent polls, we are launching our very own Design Extreme community on WhatsApp. And this will be a space where you can share all things design, engage in lively discussions and participate in polls. So you can join this group via the link in the description below. So definitely check it out. And secondly, I'm thrilled to announce our free interactive components UI kit. This handy library is going to let you drag and drop components to create an interactive prototype within a few minutes. It currently has over 10 plus interactive components and I'm already planning to add more. This kit is already live now and you can go ahead and download it from the link in the description below. So let me just quickly give you a preview of this library and what you can do using it. So let's jump onto my Figma screen and see what it is. So here is the library. As you can see, this is the cover thumbnail. And then you have a get started page where you have a small note. You can read it if you want or just ignore it. And then we have a modify text and color style. So you can modify your text and uh, color styles according to your own branding. So these are some small instructions for it. And then we have interactive components page where we have all the interactive components components along with the colors, typography and icons. So these are all the interactive components with different variants available. So you can see all these on this page. And then we have a demo page where you can play around with the things. So let me just play this one and then you'll get an idea of it. So this is text box field. I can just enter. So as you can see, everything is clickable and interactive, right? And then you have this uh, carousel so you can uh, check how this works and then we have a button we have a app menu at the bottom so all of these are clickable and interactable right so i can click these and it works completely there is a drop down there is these toggles i have this tab view check boxes and a lot more stuff right quickly let's see how we can actually use this so right now i'm just going to take a frame right here so i'll take the iphone 8 and then i'm going to jump to the assets panel right here so here you have all the components the interactive components that are available so for example let's take this drop down so i'm going to just place it right here and as you can see uh, on the right we have different options so let's select the number of options that you want so let's say you want a drop down with just three options so just click on three and here you can open and close the list so let's keep it open and give the values here so i'm gonna place gold silver platinum and that's it those options will get set here here you can give the placeholder value so let's say select your choice and here you can actually hide the label or you can just enable it and disable it so all these different options are available right here and now we can just go ahead and close it and if i'm going to play this one so you can see that the drop down is available and i can just choose whatever value i want and it gets selected right so nothing to play around with the components or the variants all the options that you have are available here and you can just play around with it change the styling and things whatever you want so this works with everything right so if i want to put this menu right here i can just put it here and then i can choose the different options that i want i can just make it three make the selected option as the third one so that is done now let's add a carousel so i can add a carousel here and i can make it smaller and then i can also make it rounded corners if i want so that'll give it a cool look so that is how i can put it and then let's go for something else from here so if i go for a tab view i can put a tab view at the top and if you don't want these icons you can turn the icons off i can make this two options and make the second one selected and if i just go ahead and play this one right so if i click on play you can see that the carousel works seamlessly and then i have this tab view i have this menu option at the bottom and also in the carousel i can select the number of images i want if i just put it as two this one gets updated and even in the prototype it gets updated there are only two images so that's it for now folks i can't wait to see what you will create with this ui kit and if you find it helpful do tag design extreme on any platform to show your love and i'm excited to connect with you all on whatsapp community so let's continue to learn and grow together in this wonderful world of design and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one